So I have the Rasa currently running flats with the Poseidon C from Player One Astronomy. And I'm using Nina currently. And on Nina, I have my flats wizard set up. And when running this sequence, I'm going with approximately uh, 0.01 seconds as my starting point with a maximum exposure of one second. And if you look here, the calculated target is only 0 0.05 seconds and I'm getting 50% of the amount of illumination in the center of my target here, which is what you're looking for. Um, this is actually a touch screen, as you can see. Um, it's right now just set up to this kind of mess of wires. I do plan on coming back in here and straightening all of this up and probably mounting um, the actual uh, computer up here on this dovetail bar. Here we've got the StarSense Auto Guider, which will allow us to do some uh, deep sky imaging with guiding with very little effort. So I'm, I'm very interested to see how that works out um, coming up hopefully tonight. And then we on the top here have uh, the dew shield, which is extremely helpful with the Rasa, especially when trying to do flats, because as you may kind of understand, um, with the camera sticking off the front, it's very difficult to do that. Um, here we've got the Celestron uh, dew heater, and this is the one that includes four different port ports, including the auxiliary ports necessary to run things like uh, the Celestron Wi-Fi module, um, as well as the actual light panel itself is connected to this, um, which is third party, of course, off of Amazon. And in addition to that, I'm running the mount off of this. So all of the wires, um, they kind of look like a rat's nest right now. But once I have this all up and running, it should be a nice tight little system. So I'm pretty excited and I hope to show you guys some images coming soon.